Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you can come back and hang out with us as we go over some of this Dollywood mischief this year. I actually have become a gold pass season, a uh, gold season pass holder uh, this year again for the first time in a while and I think it's going to be a really, really fun season for Dollywood, particularly with Big Bear Mountain opening and uh, just Wildwood Grove maturing so much now that we're kind of rolling into 2023 and uh, the, the trees they are so mature now and the whole place is just filling in really really nicely it doesn't look like it's you know, a fresh construction zone now. It's it's really getting that feel like it's been there forever. And that's what I love about kind of seeing w uh, Wildwood Grove kind of morph over the last couple of years and really get that fill-in growth. And I think uh, Big Bear Mountain is going to be a wonderful addition to that whole back hill. I think it's really kind of deceiving just watching YouTube videos about it or seeing pictures of it on Instagram. It is freaking huge. That is such a long roller coaster. Like you have to figure it, it comes in basically it's a turn that kind of actually brings you back towards the main part of the ride and the station is behind till and harvest like right when you come in it's maybe just a couple maybe a couple hundred yards from uh mystery mine and then it goes all the way back way way back to the far far ends of wildwood grove and loops around over there um they still have a big construction wall up so you can't really walk in there yet but actually while we were in dollywood i got a media uh, a media email from my buddy wes uh, who's uh, with the pr team at dollywood and they're inviting the media so all the news crews and any of the youtubers or influencers that have a chance to stop by uh, 10 days from now on May 12th, they're letting them come by and, and film the soft opening. Um, and then I believe season pass holders will get a chance to ride Big Bear Mountain first, maybe for a couple hours, I believe, maybe even that first day. But nonetheless, it is going to be a very, very exciting Friday the 12th to actually see people on that coaster and the uh, and when the waterfalls running and all the rock work is finished but I tell you they are close so they've got this 10 days of crunch coming up but I think I think they're going to hit that that May 12th because it's uh it's coming along really really well we were down there yesterday so uh, first day of May on Monday, I think we kind of got caught up in the uh, Magic Kingdom type deal where you think, let's go down on Monday. All the kids are still going to be in school and everybody's going to be at work. It's going to be really low crowds. And we get there and we're like, what the, <laughs> why aren't all these kids in school? I think everybody always has the same idea you have. They think, let's go to a theme park on Monday. It'll be dead. And then Mondays end up being busier than like Saturday because nobody comes on Saturday because they think it's going to be crazy and that's kind of what happened but at the end of the day it really thinned out um dollywood is a is a very well uh, crowd filtered park like of course it's crazy when you first get there like right when you get through security and you're and they're scanning your pass or they're scanning your ticket there are bodies everywhere but if you make that first loop and you come back around at like 11 ish it's like a ghost town. That park really filters out people really, really well. And it is just, uh, it was a really, really nice Monday, even weather-wise. Like, we showed up in long sleeves and vests, and by 11 o'clock, I was shedding the vest. It was it was getting that warm. And, you know, Dollywood, it is a lot of walking. You make that big circle, and you were actually, you know, I, I was thinking how wonderful it felt yesterday but then just thinking of june and july when you come around that circle and you were like pouring buckets of sweat but uh nonetheless it was a really nice mild day yesterday the food and uh, the flower and food festival it runs all the way until june 11th this year so they're giving it a couple extra days for you to get down there and enjoy that before i believe and uh towards the end of june it will switch over to the uh barbecue and bluegrass festival and that kind of carries them through summer and they also they've got their pass again you it's like 27 dollars for pass 
members or $29 for non-members. And you can, that's all you can eat off of the little booths for the day. So when they have their little, uh, when they have their little croissant, which is, and all that stuff set up, uh, you can, their nachos. We love the freaking nachos. Uh, you can partake in all of those little booths as much as you want, uh, with that $29 pass. So that was really, really fun. Park looks in good shape. The flowers were really, really hitting now. Um, and this is, uh, I think it's going to be a very, very fun, fun May, especially when the, the flowers, I think maybe, maybe just another week or two. And they are really, really going to be in full bloom, especially if we get this like week or two weeks of seventies that they think are coming 74 and sunny, like uh, for a straight two weeks, really looking forward to that. And I think these flowers are really going to pop. Um, regrets. The only thing I regret is we kind of had a, uh, an engagement. We had to be to after the park. So we got to the park opened at 10 on Monday. Um, and we got there about 10 40. We had to leave at about two 40. And, uh, the, my only regret, I didn't get to ride the train. Um, it was running lightning rod was running. Uh, that was really nice to see. I believe it ran most of the day. I never remember looking over that way or being over that way and not seeing lightning rod launch. So hopefully the issues I'm sure you guys have seen, or if you know anything about Dollywood, you know, the, uh, the lightning rod issues, but it seemed to have been running all day yesterday, as far as I can tell. Uh, park upkeep again, great. Uh, saw Eugene, uh, the president of Dollywood. He was out walking around with a group of people on Monday. Uh, Jilly and I, we kind of hiked up towards uh, uh, Barnstormer just to see if maybe there was a hint of any construction walls or anything going on back there. Didn't see anything at all. I think they are just uh, full focused into uh, Big Bear Mountain right now. So I wouldn't guess that we would see anything happening um, it, probably in the next little bit, probably in the next couple seasons, you know how Dollywood does. They'll usually rest on a new ride for a season or two. Um, I suspect, uh, 2024 marketing to just be the full year of Big Bear Mountain. Maybe we would get a tease by the end of 2024 or something coming. But, uh, like I said, normally I, I would suspect 2024 would be a rest season and then, uh, you know, 2025, things should really start popping off, especially since they were talking about the newest investment that they are, um, that they're pledging to bring to the park. We know we also have Heart Song Lodge uh, that's going to be opening in the fall. Really, really making good progress on that. And uh, yeah, we just, like I said, it's just Dollywood is really the new parking situation. Everything seems like it's firing on all cylinders right now really, really enjoyable experience. And another thing they did that I don't think they used to is when we pulled up and I showed them my gold pass, the park attendant actually told us where to park. He said, park in lot B for me. And they've never said that before. And we got up there and like nobody was in B. And I'm thinking they're holding that for uh, season pass holders now. So that was really, really cool. But anyways, guys, yeah, I just wanted to give you this first of May update and let me, let me know what you guys think. And we're definitely going to get back down there, going to get to splash country again this year. So let me know if you have any questions down below on my, why my mind is fresh and we're just off of, uh, off of that Dollywood trip. So yeah, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.